tell you on television, I said, boy, you lead a dull, boring existence if that's the only show you can watch. That's exactly what I tell them. <laughs> that's right. Your life. <laughs> I know, I know. You're like a TV personality for these people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bill, you're going to make your wife work the second shift now that she's got a day job? You, you, I was wondering the same thing, you know, was he campaigning for a uh, legitimate reason or... <laughs> okay, we have 7 o'clock, we have a board, I'll call the planning board meeting to order. First up for general information is Mike Schilling. Just stand here. Whatever. You yes. stand up here, yeah. 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 stand up there, whatever you feel sure. like. Sure. Um, so my wife and I are looking to start a uh, business in Hadley, and I was just curious what all I need to do uh, to accomplish that. Um, we hope to do a homebrew shop uh, with ingredients for people to be able to make their own beer, including like, you know, uh, pots and you know, burners and other equipment, as well as uh, malt, hops, yeast, okay. that sort of thing. Uh, the other part would be a classroom of some kind where I could have uh, demonstrations of how to brew in a, like a home brewing kind of setting. So that might include having like a, a kitchen stove where I could do some teaching for certain methods and then have more of a, in a, an outdoor style home brew set up which is a, sort of the equivalent of a, a turkey fryer base. Um, if possible, I'd like to be able to do that indoors, and I'm curious if there's a, would I need a hood. Um, I do understand we have no um, gas lines from Berkshire, but uh, say if there's a, a big propane tank, whatever might be allowable, I, I am aware of that. Um, also, then the other component would be a tap room with a limited food menu, uh, more like uh, nice cheeses and cured meats and bread olives, that sort of thing. But I was curious what type of license would be needed uh, to do like a sandwich press of some kind for like grilled cheese or something, but we're talking about more like a foreman grill, like a grumpy one like that of some kind. Um, I anticipate needing like a meat slicer and cutting boards and knives, mainly other than that. Okay. As far as the licenses required, we have no idea. Okay. That would be for the Board of Health and a building inspector. Gotcha. Okay. We only deal with the zoning aspect, which is where you could put it and what would be required to put zone. And from what you're saying, you'd only you'd have to be on either limited business, mm -hmm. local business, or the business zone. That's not something that what you're talking about would be more than likely allowed as a home business because it's sure. usually the home business, home occupation is a you know very small uh, clientele come to visit and. You're talking more than a couple of visits a day. You're, you're, you want to, obviously, to, to make a goal of this, you need more than two or three people a day visiting you. Indeed. Okay. So, um, local business is like Route 47 South, limited business is 47 North, and business is Route 9, in a <coughs> nutshell. Um, I don't know where you're located right now or where you're looking, but those are the overall, I mean, there's, there's a few little nuances here and there, but for the most part, those are the three locations of the three major business zones. Mm -hmm. You know, you get a, uh, go to the, the uh, town hall, you can actually see where the, a better description of the business zones and where they start and end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you probably need site plan approval because you're probably talking about an area bigger than a thousand square feet. Yes, I was so thinking you need around 3,000. Okay, so you need, a, you need a site plan approval and um, if you get to that point, you come back and talk to us, or you can, you know, we have a, a few, uh, you know, the, 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 the town zoning bylaw right on the website. And if you could just look up site plan approval, it'll give you the basic, well, give you a very descriptive uh, definite explanation of what's required, realizing that site plan approval covers everything from 1,000 square feet up, okay. including a mall. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that would not apply to you. You, you mentioned Berkshire Gas. You know they're not connecting anybody to those gas lines anymore. Right. Um, 
I was assuming I might have to do like some sort of propane tank either in the ground or some sort of external tank. Yeah, yeah, that would be the that would be the fire department. <coughs> that would be it. But I mean, that's not an unusual thing. That's the fire department. It's a standard mm -hmm. standard propane tank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the components I'm I'm aware might be an issue is is there going to be times when I might want the tap room portion to be open but have a way to close off the homebrew shop, say. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people might not be buying ingredients later on, but they might not have a beer. Uh, so some way of, you know, dividing those. We really don't care what you do inside. Good to know. Yeah. We're yeah. mainly concerned about how you interact with the larger community. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the, that would be the, the licensing commission, board of, board of selectmen, Building inspector, like I said, board of health. They would take care of how would you, how could you divide that off? How could you shut it off? Okay. Um, we're looking. We're looking at. We're really concerned with the exterior. Okay. Uh, what kind of so signage would be your signage would be would yeah. be under our jurisdiction? Yes. Okay. Um, what what are the you know? Can it be a lit sign? Are there Ex externally illuminated? <coughs> externally illuminated. Externally illuminated. You're allowed one sign, depending. Let's assume, let's assume you're a freestanding building all by yourself. Yes. You'd be allowed, depending what zone you're in as well. Assume it, business along Route 9. Okay, it would be a 64 square foot sign at the road and a 64 square foot sign on your building. Okay. And again, that's all right at a zoning bylaws as well. Sure, okay. Okay. Uh, anything you anticipate? That I should know going into this that you see as a red. I mean, from what you said, that that's the basic, the best we can do on basic overall, mm -hmm. the fifty thousand foot look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Basically, your retail, which is allowed in by special permit in the business district, and uh, no, oh, well, site plan approval. Site plan approval, well, which is yeah. you're allowed by right, but site plan approval is a special permit category. Special permit carries some very unique circumstances. Okay. Site plan approval is a special permit, but you're allowed by right. The special permit is really about the appeal process. We've, okay. we've got a competitor going in at 220 Russell Street, a brewer and coffee roaster. Cool. Um, I actually see that as a synergy more than a okay. uh, competitor, because I will not be actually producing any beer or consumption. Okay. It's the high horse. Yes, I know Matt Steinberg. Okay. Okay. Sure. okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate it. Kristen Modesto. The snow has officially melted and I'm here to talk about my landscaping. Oh. Which I was supposed to have completed by May 1st, but I'm asking you to be okay with that because I, I couldn't see the ground. Yeah. So? Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Put it in the snow. <laughs> The snow flowers in. So this is um, this is the I have survived the building construction and we are in it and I would like to plant grass in the front of the building and do a rock up at the there. There's an existing pad here of stone and I'd like to put a rock there with the number on it and I wanted to just put some low grasses here and some taller grasses here and a tree if Dig Safe says it's okay to put a tree there. Okay, that would be. So basically, this is based the, the whole front where I There's call it the, curve, the yeah. old entrance, the old auto display area. It's going to be a, just a grass area. Yeah. And you're, the, you'll be on a side over here. Yep. We. Um, it's currently. It, it currently is all dirt right now in the front mm -hmm. here. It's just right. ugly, and so I was just going to seed all that. There's already stones that where he used to park a right. car. Yep. And I talked to Hadley Garden Center, and they suggested not to plant up there because it's going to get so wrecked by road stuff. So yep. I just thought a cool. Nicely done rock with a nice tight face mm -hmm. would look good, and then a um, and that was kind of it. And I thought grasses in here. Um, I was investigating low LED just to light the path a little bit. Um, exterior, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Landscaping lights, just very low ones that went along there, and a tree if I can do it, like a graphic birch tree. Um, to go there, but again, I, I don't. There's, I think there's a lot of pipes around there, so I don't know if I can, if I can do the tree. Okay. Um, and then I was, I did draw a small fence here. There's like a battered fence that's off to the side, and I'd like to remove it and do a similar sort of L-shaped thing that's only about five panels long, just to sort of give a little bit of privacy to the backyard if we sit out there and 
just so I can sort of have a visual line of where the cars are parking and things like that. Sounds good. The right. building looks good. Thank I'll make you. It looks, looks a lot nicer than... Yeah. Thank you. You've done a good job on it. Yeah. Thank you. So I'll, I'll make you. a motion to accept the landscape plan. Second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Thank Any you. Any opposed? Thank motion you very much. Unanimous. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Can I ask one other question? The, um, the neighboring house is the Brown College House. Uh, and I wondered this if side I, or this side? Um, it's, it's over here. Okay. And yep. I wondered if I wanted later to put some sort of barrier between the two. There's a lot of yes. vodka Keys. bottles yep. and yeah. stuff yeah. like that it, in our it, parking it, lot. <laughs> Yes, you're allowed. There's just talk to the building inspector. You're allowed to put up a certain height fence. That's fine. Okay, um, beyond a certain height, they consider it a spite fence. Okay. And you need, as long as you get in writing that it's okay with that property owner, then you can put up a taller fence. Well, he put up that big sign, so maybe he'll let me do that fence. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I was thinking but, just like a low, small stretch just to discourage traffic yeah. from driving okay. over the backyard. Yeah, but just, just the height, the height is an issue. I forgot what the height is. Like the, I'm not sure if it's four or five feet. Okay. No, Anything? But, is, you're talking a wooden fence or are you talking... I, I was literally bodies? thinking more of just a to discourage cars from driving. Oh, okay. Like a split rail type thing, just just a oh, little bit, just a little yeah, bit of a yeah, length yeah. with some bushes and a tree. Oh, okay. Just like I was thinking more of a picket fence, like a drone. Yeah. Thing. Okay. No, I was thinking it would be more subtle than okay. that, just yeah. to discourage cars from driving okay. into our backyard. Yeah, that's that's not a problem. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And Mr. Eiser. The two site plan submissions this evening. First one is 79 River Drive, which is Andre Laflamme. He would like to put an addition on his existing building. Two copies of the application, two sets of mailing labels. He can't do that. He can't do what? You're allowed 2,500 square feet in a limited business district. Oh, really? Yes. And he's at 2,480 right now. That's he needs. He would need a zoning variance. Okay. Well, he could do a finding, but he needs something for the zoning. He needs something from the ZBA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm uh, not trying to no, shoot I, it down. I just don't want to. Yeah. No, I didn't realize that there was. Yeah. <coughs> what was the ad address? Uh, there was no address. No. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy nine River Drive. How about Eight Pine Hill Road then? Mm -hmm. That's Kevin Michelson's property. I was in several months ago to ask about a 270 square foot addition he wants to put on the building that he's currently building. Uh, and you guys decided that that was needed to kick the uh, site plan approval in again. So application, mailing labels, and I have seven copies of the plan. I think you need six, and I get to take one to town hall. Mm -hmm. Do you want to look at this at all? Yeah, I just take a quick peek. Sure. Yeah. So this is the plan that was previously approved with the additions to what is all in addition to that building the 270 square foot on the building he wants he currently has a one car used car license and he would like to up it to three so we have to come here before we go to the select board and see if we can get your blessing uh, so what he's proposing to do I sh there's a the, what's shown as proposed building 940 square feet on this plan is the building that's being build, built right now. That was previously approved. So this thing in front of it with the honeycomb pattern on it <coughs> is what he wants to add to that building. Uh, he's got some kind of a... How big is that? It is 15 by 18, 270 square feet. 
He's trying to get a uh, sure yard equipment franchise, Husqvarna or something like that, and he needs a showroom for it. So that, in addition to where the, there's currently one car, and I show two more. So that's going to change the parking, which I've addressed up in this upper left-hand corner as a uh, showing what we have, what we need, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Um, what's it going to look like? I actually have a rendering, a real one. A real one. Yeah. Real one. I think he had somebody do that, and I think the only difference between what this shows and what is being proposed is this is shown as being flush with the front of the building, and it's going to be set inset four or five feet. Okay. It's going to look ex the same. It'll just be pushed to the left. So what I'm saying is it'll be pushed that way. Sooner, yeah. Okay. And he wanted you guys to understand that the siding looks gray, but it is going to be white. Okay. But the red. That red and this is, I believe, gray, but the siding is white. Good. And should I leave those now or bring them back later the hearing, the, uh, why, the renderings? Why don't you bring them back? Okay. And uh, the promise on those uh, remnants of the destruction that was taking place from his old place, you know, those Barns, the roofs that are set aside. Those are on this building now. They are. Yes. Okay. That's what that's what he that's what those were for. Uh huh. And he's waiting to hear one way or the other relative to this addition. So that will be that before okay. he continues on his Very good. way to finishing that. Told me 200 for that, Jimmy. So I don't know. Catch basin frames and grades. We. That was the old fee. How long ago was the old fee? When December. Did it change? December. Okay. Because I'm sure I was here before December to talk about it. Okay, you, you probably were, but you never know nothing was ever done. No, and we, no, I we, we changed our fee schedule yeah, no, in I December. Yeah. Um, um, Joel's not going to be here on the 19th. So maybe we should put it, then, then it would be a situation where there will be four people, so we need a unanimous vote. So maybe right. we should move it to the first one in June. First one in June. So we have a better chance to <coughs> five bodies here. Um, I may not be here in June. It's possible. Like June second. June second. Sure. I may be. If I'm going to San Diego, it's them, but I'm not sure. Okay. Not that's the stone. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll schedule for June second, yeah. and uh, it's a good excuse for me not going. <clears throat> Pressing demands. No obligations. That'll bring how much a total on a property? It's up here. I think commercial, post commercial building is 25.35 total. Plus that's, that, that's with the addition? Yeah. 25.30 to 2500. Is okay. this located, Randy, the uh, leaching cash basin? There's two of them on there. And on there. Oh, okay, here. So you want six of these, Jimmy? Yeah. All right, and I'll take the seventh to file with that. Right. So no outlet on the right, catch basin. No, they're the <coughs> and they've, they've been in the ground for a couple of years. He's had no issues with them. And this is also uh, this aquifer, right? Yes. Yes. 
I have that on. I have that circle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you got it right. Okay. Oh. Um, be sure you stay on top of working with the fire department because that looks like it. It's closing a gap between the properties, and they like to get their trucks around and about. Okay. So just be, you know, be sure you're in contact with Mike about that. Okay, and he will get he will get a copy, copy but just yeah, but make sure if he comes back, he'll he may come back with a comment to us rather than to you. So you might want to just and that we wouldn't necessarily know about until the day of the hearing. So you might want to just reach out and be in touch with him okay. in a couple of weeks. Both of these are mine. Yes. Same slate as previous. Whichever is your choice. And I'll move we have the same slate and the same assignments as last year. Second. Motion a second. Any other volunteers? <laughs> if not, all in favor say aye. 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 The motion sounds unanimous. Anything other? Yeah, I'll fill that out. Uh, what? Well, anything else? Uh, nope, that was okay. public articles public are here. up next. Okay. That Kelly, I'll read, we have a public hearing on some proposed zoning amendments. Uh, I'll not read the whole article as it appeared in the Gazette, but uh, the Haley Planning Board will conduct a public hearing on Tuesday, April 21st, 2015, at 7.15 p.m. in the Senior Center Meeting Room. The purpose of the hearing is to review two proposed amendments to the Hadley Zoning Bylaws. First is to amend Section 13 Flood District Overlay by replacing it in its entirety. The second one is to amend section 19, the uh, village center village center overlay, and uh, by replacing it, it in its entirety, and the zoning bylaws, maps, and complete context of the proposed amendments may be viewed in the town clerk's office during normal business hours, published twice in the Gazette, April 6 and 13, and I don't know if you guys printed out the. Uh, Jessica had made some comments about the flood district overlay. She had a couple of questions on it. Bill sent it off to uh, Larry. Larry, and he came back that she was correct that uh, there was a couple of sections <clears throat> that were basically uh, she were in the wrong, the correct in, in, incorrect numbering. I guess the, is the best way to say it. And he has revised it with the upper right hand corner. You'll see revised edition. Those are Larry's corrections to Jessica's comments. This is the one that we spent uh, a fair amount of time on um, over a few meetings. And this is a proposed amendment. Any other comments? No, I think we talked. Are you just if we want to want to just comment for the folks at home? Basically, um, Hadley has two flood plain districts: the Hadley flood plain and the federal flood plain. And there was a lot of overlap. There is a lot of overlap between the two of them. And. We at first considered eliminating the Hadley flood plain and just going with a federal flood plain, but then we realized that would not be a good thing to do because we would open up a number of areas in Hadley that uh, 
are currently unbuildable for a residential and they could then be built for residential. So we're keeping the Hadley floodplain um, intact, but we are amending the federal floodplain overlay district um, to make them more compatible and get rid of some overlaps and confusions and stuff like that. So basically, a good overview. That's a good overview. We have to live under the federal floodplain regulations whether we like it or not, we're just incorporated in our zoning bylaws so that people are aware of what it does and what it's not supposed to allow. The federal floodplain only prohibits building in the flood way. Um, the Hadley floodplain prohibits it basically in the honeypot area, um, the Aquavita area, and I think some areas up in Hockenham, I'm not positive about that. Whereas the only floodway was really along the river's edge, um, where the river could actually overflow, and the rest of Honeypot and most of Aquavita could then be buildable again by the federal flood line, floodplain guidelines, which is basically flood proofing the flooded area of the house and compensatory storage and on and on and on. So it would, if your pockets were deep enough, you could build in those areas but it would make it probably prohibitively expensive for the normal person that would want to build. Um, and we just decided it wouldn't be a good idea, so we're going to keep the Hadley floodplain and keep the prohibition in those areas. So our floodplain is more restrictive than the federal floodplain? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. We prohibit yeah. residential construction in the, flood, right. in the Hadley floodplain. Right. Right. Uh, I will make a motion to recommend uh, that town meeting adopt the changes to uh, section 13. Second motion. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 And any opposed? Motion passes four to zero. Okay, the next one is the village center overlay district. And one, two, three, four. And this was well, we got one extra in the other day. But uh, this was put together with uh, a lot of, mostly with the help of the lower, yeah. the Long Range Planning Implementation Committee. Um, we adopted a design village overlay, uh, design guideline for the Halley Village overlay earlier, or late last year, if you would. And along with that, the village center district overlay ni section 19 was rewritten, not really making a lot of changes, but making it a little bit clearer and cleaner. It gave it a purpose, which it before really didn't have. <clears throat> gave it some, a better numbering system, and um, the overall section 19 has changed very little from its original intent in that the designs are still basically the same. Um, I think Jessica had one comment on this section that 19, the very last page, the very last item, 19.2.9.4, she really didn't know why, which says all other aspects of this zoning by law <clears throat> shall remain unchanged in this district. And since we're basically replacing the whole bylaw with a different numbering section, she's not really sure why that section is needed. And I agree with her. We could take out 19.2.9.4, just make an amendment on town meeting for it to strike it. It's really not going to change anything. Okay. So, those catchphrases are usually put in a lot of zoning amendments, though. Yeah. Because there's sometimes people will say, well, it doesn't say this. But it does say it in a different section. Uh, I, I'm okay with leaving it in. I'm okay with take, taking it out. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Actually, you know, it, it, it's a better it's a it's a better summary of the uh, it, it's a summary clause, and I, I don't think it has to be there. I think it probably is best to take it out so it, we don't get confused. Okay. Because it really doesn't add anything. Okay. So we'll amend nine. 
this on the floor to take out the very last section. Just strike it out in its entirety. That one sentence. Everything else stays the same. Anything else? <sighs> nope. Okay, I'll make a motion to recommend town meeting accept section 19, striking section 19.2.9.4. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. And that's it for those. The only other item I have on the agenda was discuss acceptance of Laurel Drive. I we probably should have asked Randy before he left, but I'm guessing he doesn't have anything new for us. Sounds that way. Um, we had asked him at the last meeting to um, see to talk with the select board about whether um, they could defer their vote on right. Laurel Drive until tomorrow night. Uh, but there's nothing in front of us, so uh, there was nothing in the mailbox with no information. Um, I mean, the road seems to be in pretty good. They put it in the top coat on. The road seems to be in good good shape. Let me see if I can uh, text him. I'll see if I can call him. Okay. I have a number for him. I do if you don't. Kim, do we want to undertake, I know there was some discussion uh, when Johnny was here regarding recommending to the town yeah, to approve certain roads like Holly Street or, or, or is that only if, only if we're asked? I mean, should we get in the middle of it? I, from, I'm going to guess that if we don't, nobody else will. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking. You know, yes. um, the select board aren't going to, I can't imagine the select board going to take this on. It's, it's kind of uh, related to, to the planning board in that, you know, we, we are responsible, at least, approvals of subdivisions. Yeah, and certain most ones, of these Gooseberry, we, you know, Peter. And uh, I know Bill was working with, uh, he was trying to get from Peter a few descriptions so that we could go forward like that. Would, that would address Gooseberry. Yes. But some of the other ones, okay. you know, they've been paying Perfect. taxes Thanks. for, to the point of the, you know, they deserve to have a town road. I mean, I can't disagree with them. You know, did he have anything? Uh, yes, he said that the selectmen pulled the article to accept Laurel Drive at their last meeting. I mean, it's not going to be on the warrant. It's not going to be on the warrant. Okay. So there is nothing that we need to do tonight. Nothing we need to do on that tonight. Okay. Yeah. I, I so when you were out of the room, Bill, I was asking Jim, should we kind of undertake the responsibility of break, getting some of these town roads, I mean, some of these private drives accepted as town roads, which, yeah. and, and, and Jim said, if we don't do well, it, who will? Well. That's right. Um, no, I, I completely agree. Something like putting aside Holly Road for Med, which has more complexity. Something Correct. like Bayberry, Gooseberry. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we, we, the bylaws, uh, the, the subdivision regulations were written kind of loosely and um, those kind of got away on our watch. So we, we really, should follow through and make sure that those get addressed. Um, and going forward, we're covered. Um, Gooseberry, I don't think, will be an issue. Um, uh, I have talked to Attorney McConnell, who did represent the developers of Bayberry, and he, um, he is, has offered to do some work to prepare a legal description. But that we still have some issues with town council about how we actually get control of that. But I think that those are things we need to follow up on. Hawley is a different story. I drove down there, um, and I know that 
the argument, I suppose, would be that, well, the developer should have done it, and that's one where no one who was on the planning board at that time is even alive at this point. <coughs> um, it's one of the few projects that has none of our signatures on it. Hmm. Um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> so, um, 1970. Yeah, we really don't know ex what the whole story was on that. I'm pretty sure our file, if we can lay hands on it, probably doesn't have a lot. No, we, we were looking at that last time, and it's got. Um, they have. They had notes. They took very good notes of what they took. Well, that's because they knew there was going to be a suit, so they brought a stenographer in. Oh, okay. So this is really a, almost a word by word of the meetings that yes. they held on it. And, but even then, they ultimately signed off on it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because they had the gun to their head by... It doesn't the, really matter. They yeah. signed off on it <coughs> for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it's an approved, and it is what it is today. Um, so, I, yeah, I think... Um, I think in that one, it, it has some problems. It has the, some of the same issues that Bayberry has. The question is, who owns the roadbed? And it's one thing to say the town should accept it, but we have to know who we're accepting it from. Yeah. We can't just say we accept it because we don't know that the people who want it accepted have legal authority to offer it. Yeah, the, even the, uh, I mean, that was so long ago, I don't even know who the heirs of that road belong to now, if anybody. I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe that that might have been Ev Roberts, Barry Roberts' father, uh, who was Robert. involved in the development of that project. Uh -huh. um, um, I can about guarantee you Barry wants no part of that road. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, that piece of, well, it does, was that Lincoln Real Estate? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, there, there, there may be some other ways around it, and I frankly have to have the conversation with town council. Um, um, we know that Northampton just went through this, and on some of their older streets that had been laid out but never accepted 20, 30, 40 years ago, they just went ahead and said, you know, fine, you're all taxpayers, we've been plowing, we're just going to take them. Um, I'm not sure if they went through exactly what legalities they went through. I might try to reach out to Northampton City Solicitor. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I think that this is something we can take responsibility for following up okay. and at least get them to town meeting. Yeah. Yeah, but it's going to take some time, but that's something that uh, we probably have a little bit of on this one. There's, there's no, mm -hmm. you know, if we can get it for next annual, that'd be great. Mike, in the past, when uh, Lisa was on the board, uh, she was kind of instrumental in getting the sign bylaw together. And right. when something would stick out like a sore thumb, we should bring it up before us and we send a little note that there was a sign violation to the building inspector or zoning enforcement officer. And one of the ones way back when was the Paragus sign. Uh, and, uh, yep. and they were supposed to take down the courthouse sign and leave up that sign. They were right. supposed to take one of the signs down. Uh, and the then one on Route 9 they were supposed to take down. Yeah. And they have not. Only developer said that no, that's not that was not part of his deal. Then that's something we better. So should we send a note to the building inspector? Just say, would you please look into it? And, or what's he going to look into? It's our yeah. fault. Yeah, we probably should have gotten a. a uh, this is our fault. This is not their fault. It, there was, there, we, we took the Paragus's gentleman's word that the other sign was going to come down. This is something we got to do a better job of from now on. That sign's going to come down. Put it in writing. Get a letter from your from your. Uh, well, is is he ignoring the fact that he said it? He's never been back in. Well, maybe we should tickle him a little bit because. Uh, Actually, I, I think it's okay to ask the building inspector to look at it. Uh, um, 
you know, really isn't our, we don't have authority to call the guy, but mm -hmm. the neither has the owner of the property been in to tell us explicitly that that wasn't what he agreed to. I think we got that by hearsay that he spoke to that's, another member of the board. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think it's worth. Uh, so you you're going to write a little note to Tim, or just call him, or maybe you can do it, Joe. Okay, I'll call him. Sure. Well, what's that, that sign that's sticking up in front of sixty six? No, that, that green, that, that, that was a green sign? Yeah. The green priority green, sign. Yeah. 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 Correct. Yeah. yeah. There's only supposed to be one sign. Yeah. In the, that was the in second the, sign on the, on that lot. On that yeah. lot. Oh, it looks odd there. Hmm. Well, it's, it's proper, isn't it the property owner's responsibility? I mean, it clearly in violation, he has to be able to control his tenants. That's true. If the tenant put it up without his permission, yeah, yeah. and that's uh, so, and we did. So I think we hold the property. We don't have that. jurisdiction to waive the one sign per lot yeah. limit anyway. That would require a variance. So the property uh, owner should have been in here. And he's, he's probably in violation, I think. But it's not yeah. another way. So we'll let uh, yeah give. Uh, I'll give him a call. Okay. Give him a call. Uh, minutes uh, April seven. April seven. Can I can I bring something up? Just a minute. Yes, you will. Okay. You break the camera. You put me on that. Oh uh, no! Uh, there a motion to accept the minutes. Make a motion. Second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor of accepting the moment the minutes of April seven say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes four to zero. Yes, sir, John. Hi. Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know that little island? I was there yesterday. Car was crossing. A couple of us going across the street. On, on the north side, there's like a big, that island there. It's right in front of Kentucky Fried and it goes across the mall. Right yes, yeah. Somebody's going to get hit there because it's uh -huh. yesterday. You can't do nothing about it, huh? There's no left turn coming out of there, right? This, this so sign has been removed. The problem is you have to be way on the right and then come around. Yeah. You know? There's supposed to be no left turn coming out of there. Um, and but no left turn going and, in. And no, and people are no that's right. They're com coming, up, coming, up north, coming up South Maple, there's no left turn into that street. And there's no left turn coming out onto Route, route South Maple going north. But people do it anyway. You're absolutely right, Jack. And we were waiting the next time the mall comes before us, we were, we were going to address that. When, when Super Walmart was on the, the books, one of the proposed changes to the traffic intersection was to put an island down the middle. And that would have fixed it. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's just like a horseshoe right there. And it's hard to get around. Like, you know, you're on a right-hand side. Well, the cars. Shoot across. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, you're right. It's, yeah. It is a nightmare. Just like just like coming and taking a left turn into uh, the Bread and Circus entrance, going yeah. on Route Nine right. westbound. People do that yeah. a lot less frequently, but they still do it plenty of times. And people still try to come out of the mall and go left to Northampton across a yeah. couple of lanes. Of yeah. And there's signs on all over the place. There. I mean, Dunkin' Donuts. It, 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 that sign's going. It, I, I, I wish. We had a good, other than an island down the middle, there's really no, a quick fix. I don't know what else you can do. Jim, the quick fix is in Belchertown. Uh, there's an intersection where the Florence Savings Bank is, Stop and Shop is set back, and Tono's Pizza. They've got these uh, orange cones. They're flexible. You, you go down Route 2 through Athol. All they do is they don't, they, they're, they're literally stuck into the blacktop. And yes. those, those work well. Yeah, they're about. Four, three, four feet high. The yeah, okay, that's our leaders. Yeah, yeah. How we got it today said we should be called the Orange Cone State. Yeah, that, that that's an idea. If we can get them to do something like that somehow, when they, when they come in again, as opposed to a real island. Yeah, yeah we did try to we tried to deal with it. First of all, we tried to get the, on the Kentucky Fried Chicken side, on the Hampshire, on the Mountain Farms Mall side, we tried to get them to configure the intersection so that you couldn't 
go out to the left mm -hmm. or come in, turn left to go in. Um, and they did as best they could, but um, and just like the other one on Route 9 in front of Bread and Circus, um, that's like a highway exit ramp, but people still try to try to cheat yeah, it. I know, I see that too. And um, you know, we were aware of it. We did try to, um, we did require, and it, they may have fallen down, we also tried to get signage in there saying they couldn't go across. Um, but um, they do it. Um, so short answer is that there's, other than enforcement, um, yeah. if the police would go out there and um, I've seen how the police pull people over for making a left turn into the bread into the bread and circus entrance. Yeah. yeah. A few times I've seen them pull people over. But I mean, unless they, I mean, they got better things to do than sit there and hours on end get people for left hand turns. Yeah. You know, I mean, to their defense. So, get any ideas on how we could prevent that, Jack? I, I would say take it out and just make a, why does that table? Something, but to, like you guys said, with, a, with those orange poles. Yeah, I'm talking about that, something like the poles down the middle may be the right deterrent. Because I, yeah, I because said, to put the island down the middle, you'd have to eliminate a lane and it would be a... Yeah, well, we're whatever, you know, but I, I, I see a lot of people jump the curb there. Yep, yeah. Good point, Jack. Now, yeah. now, were you actually eating in Kentucky Fried Chicken? Or? Mm -hmm. Mike, I, uh, the camera's on, I can't. <laughs> Mike, don't move it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put chicken on it. There's three, three, three grades of chicken you could buy. Um, anything else? When's town meeting? When is it the date? First. First Thursday of First May. Thursday. I think it's, we got a meeting on the first Tuesday, is that right? Where's my calendar? Oh, yes. We meet on the 5th and the town meeting is on the 7th. Okay. So, town meeting in just over two weeks. I have nothing else. I have nothing else. Move, we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is history. Thank you, and thank you, Richard. I'm going right over to the town.